I'd like to go over two different saws with you and compare and contrast those two saws, talk about where they're the same and where they're different. And the two saws are a scroll saw and a coping saw. Uh, first of all, let me say, if you like what you see, please hit the like button and please subscribe if you like this content and we'll keep you informed of future content. So this is obviously a fairly large electric machine, although these are not terribly expensive. Uh, this scroll saw uh, is used to make curved cuts in general, and it's used to make curved cuts, and it has this wide throat so that you can make curved cuts in large pieces of material and be able to turn it and fit it through uh, this particular arm mechanism. The way the scroll saw works, there's an arm in here on the top inside of this casing, and down below inside of this casing, is uh, an, an arm that looks very similar. And as the blade, as the saw cuts, it pushes down and then back up. So this just goes down and up. And I can turn it on and demonstrate that. That's the motion of the saw. The teeth are pointing down so that it cuts going down, which is very useful because it means you, the, the saw pushes the material into this uh, plate, into this table, which holds it very steady. And then when it's coming back up, the teeth are not pointed in that direction, so there's very little friction on the upstroke. So it goes up and down, and you turn the material, and you make curved cuts. They can be quite intricate uh, or just long and wide narrow curves. This saw, the coping saw, its purpose is to cut curved cuts just like this. It's actually very similar uh, to, the, to the geometry of the copings of the scroll saw. There's an arm here and an arm here, and there's a blade suspended between the two arms. And instead of a machine making those two arms go up and down, there's a handle here, and the user makes it go up and down through the wood. Uh, you can set it either way, but the way I like to set a coping saw is with the teeth going down. So the idea of uh, you, the difference between using this particular saw and this saw to make a curved cut in the scroll saw, you turn the material, not the blade. In the coping saw, you have to turn the blade in order to make the curve. So you will do an up and down motion, keeping the geometry of the blade uh, strictly perpendicular as you turn it and you go through the material. As you can imagine, it takes a level of skill to operate by hand a coping saw, whereas uh, this scroll saw takes a lot less uh, experience and a lot less skill to operate. The skill set you need to operate uh, this particular saw, saw this, skill, the, this the scroll saw, is to be able to coordinate the turning of the material with the rate of feed through the blade so that you tend to keep the blade cutting on the line, so to speak. Uh, this is more complicated to use because you have to keep it vertical, otherwise you're making a cut that's not vertical, which is in most cases undesirable. So you need to keep it vertical and you need to be able to follow a line by turning it uh, just with the pressure of your hand on this handle. Now there are configurations where this will get in the way. And that this, this saw is provided with the ability of loosening the tension and turning uh, the direction of the blade so that it helps you by doing that. It can help you get through difficult positions where you might get blocked by uh, the frame of the saw. This saw costs somewhere between $100 and up, $100 and three, four, $500 for really good ones. 
Uh, this particular coping saw is going to cost you between probably $10 and $30. Uh, so there's a great big price difference. Uh, there's a great big, big space saving having the coping saw. You don't have to keep this around your shop. But then again, you have to have a skill level that allows you, permits you to be able to saw to a line and also keep the, uh, the uh, saw curve vertical to the material that you're cutting. So the main difference between these is expense and size and the skill level required to use them. So if you've enjoyed the video, please hit like and uh, subscribe to our uh, channel so that we can keep you informed.